Hey guys, welcome to my channel again. So today I created this makeup look inspired by the Kardashians. It's a really sexy makeup and I think it looks good on anyone. Um, recently I've seen Kim wearing this look a lot, but I think Kylie Jenner also does makeup like this. Courtney as well. So yeah, if you guys want to learn, then just keep on watching. Okay guys, so to begin with, I'm gonna use the Mario Badesco eye cream under my eyes just to hydrate, illuminate as well, and just to you know, minimizing fine lines, any dryness I have under my eyes. And for my base, um, as a moisturizer, I'm gonna use the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Moisturizer. This one is really popular. I think I've seen many uh, makeup artists using this one. So um, yeah, just to give me like a nice hydrate. The more hydrated your skin is, the better your base, your foundation will look. So I'm gonna just use that as well. Then next, I'm gonna use this um, Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. So basically, um, it is like a nice base for you if you want to get like really nice glowy skin. It's just nice to kind of warm up the face. I kind of use all over. Next for foundation, I'm going to use my NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. This one is one of my favorite foundations of the moment. Okay guys, on the eyes I'm gonna use uh, my MAC um, Pro Conceal and Correct in shade medium. Just base for the shadow. So just to set the concealer, I'm gonna go with this Makeup Atelier Harry's um, eyeshadow palette. I'm just gonna use one of these beige nude colors. Then guys, next I'm gonna go with the MAC eyeshadow in Unit uninterrupted is a prolonged wear shadow just applying on above my crease not exactly on my crease now guys i'm gonna go with this dark um it's like a charcoal brown with the mac 217 brush and just apply here I just want to deepen that crease a little bit more. Okay, so now I'm gonna go and use the Magnetic Matte Eye Color by Nude Sticks in the shade Chocolate. Just where I'm gonna apply the bronze pigment. I'm using this because this is quite like sticky so the MAC pigment in the shade Rose Gold I'm gonna get a little bit of the dark brown and I'm gonna use a little bit at the end here as well so it creates a little bit more depth Okay guys, now we're gonna intensify this eye and I'm gonna use the Inglot Gel Liner in the shade 77 but I just wanna do more close to the lash line. Like, so I'm not doing a wing, I'm just doing the black on top. Then girls, for lashes I'm gonna be using Ardell um, Wispies. This used to be my number one favorite lashes. I don't know why I stopped using them but yeah. They are just really nice and messy, wispy. They look really good with this makeup. Okay guys, so I finished the other eye now and we're gonna move on to concealer under the eyes and I'm gonna be using this Kevin Aquan The Essential Skin Enhancer in SX04. Okay guys, and to set it, I'm gonna use my RCMA uh, translucent powder. I haven't used this in decades as well. But I remember that when I first got it, it was on iMats and I was obsessed with it when I first got it. So I'm gonna get back into using it because it's a really good one. And guys, to set all over my face, I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish in number two. This is one of my favorite setting powders for all over. It just gives you a really nice, beautiful, flawless finish. And it adds a little bit of color as well. Ok 
Okay guys, so now to contour, if we want to look like a Kardashian, we need to contour and highlight. So I'm going to be using two sticks by Fenty Beauty, one in the shade Truffle and one in the shade Amber. This one I'm gonna use just to carve out my cheekbones. And then now I'm gonna use the truffle just to warm up a little bit more. Just a little bit here. So guys, now that we are nice and blended for the contour, I'm gonna use the Nip and Fab Liquid Gold in the shade Rose Gold. This product is really amazing, you guys. It's very affordable as well. So I just wanna do a little bit here. Okay guys, so now I wanna move on to bronzer. Um, with this uh, Fenty Beauty stick, you don't actually need a bronzer, but I feel like I want to look a little bit more darker. I'm gonna use a little bit more bronzer, and the one I'm gonna use is the Terracotta by Guerlain. The packaging is like broken. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna add a little bit more on top because I'm not gonna be using any blusher today okay girls to finish off the eyes we're gonna apply some shadow and a black pencil as well on our waterline so i'm gonna use the mac smolder eye pencil and then now i'm gonna go with this dark brown as well from the same palette the same one i used on my crease as well this small brush Try to go very close with it. I'm not gonna go too low because I want to keep that cut eye effect. To line my lips, I'm gonna use Max Strip Down. Then I'm gonna use NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London. This is one of my favorite nude guys. So guys, I have also added the gloss, a gloss on top, which is this one by Dose of Colors in the shade Can You Not. I think the overall look looks better with the gloss. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below to support me. And i see you on the next one. Mwah.